I'm going to do it. You got 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 to do it. I'm going to have to uh, order some more fly time. It's starting to go, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we weren't sure what was going to happen, Matt. You know. Look, there goes another tail. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, they use Instagram weights. Beard's getting gray too.
See, this ain't the one. This has a really small hole. Here it is. <laughs> Yes, I do. Stuff stretching? Yep, and it sticks. What's it called? I'll show you in a minute. Sticking up. Oh, yeah, I see it. I'd like to try to push it down. Yeah. Oh, it's going to work. see it from all different directions. And li but yet, with that being said, I have seven cases, seven cases, four, it's four or five trays in each case, seven of them stack up, stand this tall, where they're all full. Literally thousands of flies. Literally all skips. Oh, no, I'm that's why Skip couldn't make him because he's home making flies. Got him in the dungeon, tying. Skip ties all old school flies. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, nothing wrong with that. You know. Nice. That eye didn't get so good. Sorry, fish always go for the weaker. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Right. Hmm. Put bread thread on there, okay. right? I'm just going to tie some red V rib okay. on here. All right. Oh, I can't believe I touched that. General oh, giving son of God. God. Yeah. Oh, if you touched it with oh. I touched it. I touched it with. The, oh. I don't know what what it is with that red thread, but it's weak. It's 
week two, you can't, can't pull on a real bar. This will go on the blooper reel, John. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, you know, what not to do. <laughs> yeah, what, that's what you don't want to do. That's what you don't want to have happen. <laughs> this is how you fix this it. This is almost looks. like a floss. Yeah. This looks like dental floss, the way it broke off, like a silk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hit the yeah. Yeah. Hit the I've, I've done that three times. I, twice for me. I, one of them days, I guess. Huh? It's, it's actually Cabela's. Red. It's a, it's, it's almost a floss. You could use that as floss. Yeah. It might leave that red dye behind on your teeth, but other than that, <laughs> we type flies with a floss body. It's really slick too. That's really like a floss. That really is. It's delicate. It, I, I it's delicate. It's, it's really delicate. Yes, it is. Palmering is with a feather. But I mean, you're keeping the... <laughs> Palmering is when you, you know, like a woolly buffer has little spikes all over it. Yeah. You take a feather and you wrap it around. And they think the point is... He's just wrapping forward, that's all he's doing. We're just wrapping material forward. But I mean, you're keeping your... You're not wrapping over a... a you're not overlapping. Overlapping? No. I do, I get some different red thread, just keep this as your floss for time. Like soft tackles and stuff. I have like Thank maybe three or four. Three or four. has an ad. That's it. That's it. That's it. Really? And you've caught 70% of your fish. 75% of my traffic. <laughs> really? And what do you call it? Just a red worm. Incredibly simple. Yeah, I caught, I caught a trout that was the worst thing. Is that now, is this, half time. <laughs> is this supposed to be like something that's emerging or like with the little tiny, yeah. like this the little looks tiny like an aquatic worm. worm? Okay, all right. Cool. I gave one to Bernie last year and he caught the biggest trout he ever caught in his life on it. Nobody uses sun cure today. There is a red worm out there. Bowman so half water like all the time. They put a little piece of red marabou for a tail. For a tail, yeah. It's like a, a little, the, little I think little it's meant to be like a a, a, a gill, like some kind of an aquatic worm. Now here's another thing too. This worm, those of us that have been fishing this for a while, have done different things with this. Like one of the guys, he, he, he took a tinsel. Silver tinsel, put it on the first, and then wrap it, wrap it red with tinsel. Don't be a little it brighter. Gets brighter, and yeah, you do all sorts of different things. Mm -hmm. That's another thing too. If you tie, if you tie San Juan worms, I don't know if you fish with them. I, I do. Yeah, I fish with them, but I've never had many good luck. Well, San, good San, luck. Wor San Juan worms to me are hit and miss type bait, but I, I fly. But I'll tell you something. When they're on, they're on, and, and you get nice fish with them. Other thing with the same one worm is, I mean, you look at ultra you know, you tie them with ultra right? You know, look at the different color. There's so many different variations of red. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do when you're looking on the rack, you say, oh, there's there, this right in this one rack. I got a deep red. I got a more like brighter red. I got another red by all three, all, by all three shades. I sum in all three shades. It does make a difference. It makes a difference. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I found
found that out because I've tried it. I've actually tried it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I field tested some of this stuff because I knew, you know, and, and I've actually tried no, it. I'm going to tie it. I've fish on salmon worms. I'm, I'm What's this supposed to mimic, Joe? This is going to end up being a, a squid. I think okay. it's the best. Cool. Okay. But I've caught them on. And what I did is I used some last year feathers and then uh, uh, some of the road. Deep red wasn't catching mm -hmm. them. Over top is for the carapace. So you're going to pull this back and make that the yes, head. Yes, and I'm going to put a little no, epoxy or okay. artist nails on it to keep it sort of shape. Cool. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a video. Uh, sunlight. 